It's Monday, October 9th, the start of a new week that brings with it death, violence, and uncertainty in the Middle East. Welcome to the President's Daily Brief. I'm Mike Baker, your eyes and ears on the world stage. Let's get briefed. Israel is now at war after Hamas launched coordinated extensive terrorist operations from the Gaza Strip into southern Israel. In today's President's Daily Brief, we'll examine the events of the weekend and their implications. We'll kick off with the latest updates, zeroing in on how the terror group Hamas orchestrated its operation. Then, given the attack's magnitude, a major question exists. How did Israel miss the warning signs of such a significant assault involving upwards of a thousand terrorists moving into Israel by land, sea, and air? With both Israeli and U.S. officials stating that they had no warning of an impending attack, what can explain this obvious intelligence failure and, critically, what needs to be done to ensure it doesn't happen again? After addressing that, our focus shifts to Iran, which is openly cheering Hamas. That would be, of course, because Hamas is a proxy for Iran, which supplies the terrorist organization with money, military hardware, training, and other support. Lastly, we'll break down the U.S. response and what this may mean for the political situation and the recent chaos on display on Capitol Hill. Is the U.S. national security posture at risk because the House lacks a leader? Let's start by unpacking the events that have unfolded so far.